You know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple of detectives, and I was about to start bad-mouthing you behind your back, but I stopped myself because my pops told me that a man who talks about someone behind their back is a coward. Wow, I really appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. You're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. I'm so tired of you getting angry and yelling all the time. It is exhausting. I feel like I'm partners with the Hulk. You know why I'm so angry all the time? Because the more I try to do things right, the more I screw up. Down in town, three triad members. Got the first two on the first draw, bang, bang. Then I go, turn and take out their leader. Oh my god, I feel like I'm there right now. And then I hear a whistle from on top of the buildings, my other guys. They're calling out, hey, let's even the odds. So he drops me down one, bang, right to the chest. Officer Terry, would you like to share your story? I'd rather not. Officer Terry, you have been coming here for six months and you haven't said a word. This is a safe room. There's no judgment. I relive it every night. Game seven of the World Series. I saw a shadowy figure in the tunnel. I didn't know what to do. I finally pulled my gun. I shot Derek Jeter. You cost me 20 grand on that game. Everyone calls me the Yankee Clipper. That's because you shot Derek Jeter. He's a biracial angel. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Some of the guys were talking. How come you never fired your weapon in the office before? Fellas, look, I know you don't respect me as a police officer. Not true. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to discharge my firearm in the office. Let me make this clear. We honor the flag, and you crap on it when you don't fire that gun in the office. Jimmy, when was the last time you had a desk pop? Uh, September 08. Come on, be a man. Pop one off. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Alan, I'm gonna need you to hand over your gun. Okay, sir. You got this one. It's used for ceremonies. You got this gun back when you feel like you can handle it. Okay? Okay. Hey, I broke into the lottery. You'll be in the back of the service center in two minutes. Hey, dog, it says the wife. She died. Atta boy. Even your farts, they're not manly. They sound like a baby blowing the candles on a birthday cake. You know what bugs me about you? What? I'm pretty sure you haven't voted. You were like a child in a leather jacket. Get out of the way, man. Oh, you David Ershon? Oh, actually, it's a Sir David Ershon, but I'm kind of in a hurry job. Well, you're on your press. Bro, what are you doing? If you do or say it can be used against you, um, what's the next part? As a flotation device. As a flotation device. You know what? That's very funny. We arrested this guy for a scaffolding permit? Wait, what am I being arrested for? Scaffolding permit violation. Alan, those are Russians. They could be working for Ershon. Mr. Ershon, Detective Gamble, and the officer that shot Derek Jeter are here. Remember us, Hotshot? Please, take a seat. We're going to do good cop, bad cop, follow my lead. Now, you listen to me, you piece of crap. It's just you and me. I'm going to rip you apart. How did you cover up all your losses? What drug cartel are you working with? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to talk to you. You're reasonable. You want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? Alan, what are you doing? You listen to me! You listen to me! Who are these people? I was only expecting one man. Um, just people I owe money to. But who are they? Uh, entrepreneurs. These guys are from Nigeria. You're a real piece of work. Thank you. Let's get started. You know what bugs me is that we still don't know who Ershon is targeting. Alright, listen up. I'm Detective Gamble. This is Detective Hoyts. We need your cooperation. David Arshon, you're under arrest for their connection 
to the murder of Don Beeman. Oh, uh, that's probably not the greatest idea. Gentlemen, you are here illegally, and we are within our right to take action. 